Comes from the Pulse nightclub massacre in Orlando say a Palm Beach Garden security company, G4S, is to blame. They filed a lawsuit today claiming there is evidence G4S, which employed the shooter, Omar Mateen, could have prevented the deadly attack. News Channel 5's Jacqueline Powell is live at the St. Lucie County Courthouse to explain how attorneys say Mateen's job was closely tied to the shooting. Jacqueline. Well, Kelly, Omar Mateen was a security officer with G4S assigned to the St. Lucie County Courthouse here. And in this lawsuit filed today, attorneys claim that he threatened co-workers while he was here and even told them he had terrorist ties. It was through that same job that he got a special license that allowed him to buy firearms and ammunition. Attorneys gathered with victims today to announce a lawsuit claiming there's evidence to show security company G4S and Omar Mateen's wife, Noor Salman, could have stopped the deadliest U.S. massacre in modern history. This attack was easily preventable because it was predictable. Mateen spoke openly to his employer, his co-employees, his units of assignment as to his hatred of our country and his allegiance to Al Qaeda. Attorney Antonio Romanucci specifically named threats that happened at the St. Lucie County Courthouse. Mateen repeatedly threatened his colleagues while he was an employee of G4S, including an instance in which he told the deputy sheriff at the courthouse that he, Mateen, would have the terror group Al Qaeda kill the co worker's family. During this time period, he bragged to co-workers about being associated with the Boston Marathon bombers. Mateen told colleagues that he, fact, that he had family connections to Al-Qaeda and Hezbollah. Romanucci claims one of Mateen's co-workers repeatedly reported the threatening statements to the company's higher-ups. The lawsuit claims that job served as a means for planning the attack. He had the ability and tools to plan. He was given a Class G license to purchase weapons and ammunition through his employment of G4S. A spokesperson for G4S says the company has a lot of sympathy for the victims and their families, but that they'll still fight the lawsuit. In a statement today, they said G4S intends to vigorously defend itself against the lawsuit, which it considers to be wholly without merit. Now, new at 6, we'll have the victims pleas for justice from that press conference earlier today. Reporting live in St. Lucie County, Jacqueline Powell, WPTV News Channel 5.